let's talk about work, because this is a big one. When we're talking about artificial intelligence, I've already told you when it comes to customer service as one example, that there will be many jobs that are lost or changed along the way. But here's the thing that all of us need to remember. It's not that jobs are necessarily going to be eliminated, it's that they're going to change. So perhaps those really boring tasks that you may do as a customer service agent, as a lawyer, as a personal assistant, as far as taking in and reading and analyzing data, those are the things that you won't have to do anymore because a computer will be able to do it through artificial intelligence. So that's the context that all of us have to remember. We also have to remember, if thank goodness we're in this country where we have a leader right now who's focusing on the fact that automation, that's the term you'll hear a lot when it comes to artificial intelligence, is absolutely going to impact us. And this government just a few weeks ago announced there's gonna be grants for retraining. They're really focusing on this, knowing that the job world is going to change so much because of automation. And people will need to be retrained. They will need to be, get into the workplace with different education than we're giving our kids today. I would argue as a parent of an eight-year-old who's going into grade three, I'm not sure that he necessarily is going to have the education he needs to come into this workplace. I think a lot needs to be done. But it can only be done if people like all of you understand the impact that this is going to have on our future. And one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna get in your autonomous vehicle. AI is going to help to diagnose cancer from some, for someone in your family, and it's going to diagnose it more quickly and more effectively. This is all going to happen within the next few years. 